Okay, so this quick tip is in response to a question we had on our Facebook page from James. And James wanted to know, how do I record audio so that the files don't have nonsense names like 1234 underscore audio dash 72, for example? So let's have a look at exactly what he's talking about. I've just recorded this file. And if we have a look, we've got 00012-audio-1.wav. Now, the secret to this is very, very simple. Just be sure to name the audio track that's doing the recording first. So I'm going to call this drums, as that's what we're recording. And let's go again. Now, when we look at this file, we're going to see that it's named a lot more sensibly. Now, the 0002 at the start is there because it's the second time I've recorded on this specific audio track. So if you name it in advance, it's going to make sense. It's going to be the order that you record things, and it's actually more helpful than not. Of course, you can always click on this and rename just by hitting Command R directly inside of your browser. So if I did just want this called drums, that would be easy enough. But that extra little bit at the start isn't really too much of an issue. Now, it's exactly the same when we're doing things like consolidating. Let's say that we'd recorded a load of drums and this part here was a drum fill. If I want to call this drum fill, I need to just make sure I'm slicing this first and giving it the proper name. Drum fill. Now when I hit Command J to consolidate, we can see that it's been given a proper name. And likewise, if I come in here and I want to say reverse this, You'll see that we get a little R at the end to indicate it's reversed. And again, that's created a new file in our browser. And the same would happen if we were to freeze this track. If we freeze the track, it would be called drums because we're freezing the audio in the whole track and creating one audio file. So you just have to think before you're doing the action, if you want things to be appearing correctly in your files on your browser, make sure you name the clip or the track first. So if you've got any questions you'd like us to answer, feel free to drop them in on Facebook or on YouTube. Always happy to help out. And if you want these tips and tricks in your inbox, remember to hit subscribe. All the best. Take care and happy music making.